हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ फुल स्टैक वेब डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग रिएक्ट जेस एंड गो फाइबर इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी वर्क ऑन द फंक्शनलिटी टू एडिंग न्यू रिकॉर्ड एंड इन दिस सेशन लेट अस वर्क ऑन द फंक्शनलिटी टू एडिट रिकॉर्ड सो एडिटिंग अ रिकॉर्ड इज आल्सो गोइंग टू बी वेरी क्वाइट सिमिलर टू द एडिंग न्यू रिकॉर्ड बट विद ऑफ कोर्स येस सो विथ लिटिल डिफरेंसेस लिटिल एडिड फंक्शनलिटी so that uh, we are going to see very shortly so our idea is that uh, with uh, below this uh, this title so i am going to have two icons one for the a pencil icon one for the uh, editing and second one for deletion so for those icons so i am going to use font awesome so the idea is that when a user clicks on this the pencil icon edit icon so he will land on the screen to where he will uh where the form would be pre populated with the uh, actual post data okay so let us work on that so let us dive into vs code so our idea is that uh, first of all so i will duplicate this add.js component because the functionality would be very very similar to this so it's better to copy this instead of rewriting the whole stuff so i'm just going to copy it and uh, i am going to rename it with the edit.js and we will rename the name of the component as well and uh, edit and also we will change the page header so we will say edit post fine and uh, we will uh, bring this uh, route into our app dot our routing table so we will have edit and it will take on the uh, id id would be passed as a route parameter so and uh, we will the name of the component would be edit so yes got auto imported and uh, now we will come back to our home.js file and uh, in our list so i am going to have a new div so we will start with the link tag and in the to part we will come back to it so don't worry and uh, i am going to have a font awesome icon so if a solid fa pencil and uh, let's save it maybe we can go with the self closing tag as well and uh, we will duplicate it and we will change the icon from the pencil to trash so let's save it and uh, now let's check so yes those this uh, two icons started appearing so let us increase the the size as well and also we will add some spacing so and the sp this is a html notation for a space and uh, if we do x seems to be fine so so okay fine so it looks a little better and uh, we can uh, do the uh, uh, i mean we can always work on the styling part don't worry about that so let i mean i think like uh, and now it's time to work on this one so we will have a we will go with the use the back tick and it would be the route would be edit and uh, that would be we will simply need to pass on the record id right so something like similar and uh, now if we click on this uh, pencil icon so we will land on this edit post component our routing uh, is working fine so but all we have to do is we have to pre populate this input areas so okay so for the pre population so actually the first of all so we will need to fetch the data from the uh, our uh, uh, we will need to fetch the data from our database actually we will we are going to make an api call to get the actual data for that record record id so that we can pre populate it okay so we will come back here and we will create some 
so actually i am going to uh, also write down the step as well so first step would be to fetch the data so i am going to create some state variable api data set api data that would be a state variable use state and uh, i'll initialize it with the false okay and uh, also we will need to get the uh, get the the id from the route so we will say params so we will use the use params hook actually we have already used that uh, while uh, we were working on the blog detail page so here so better so we should we can also copy this so that we can save the time so this way so we had created and also so we will and here i will add the comment so that form handling and saving so first of all first uh, uh first uh, our uh, task was to get the data so we have got the data so this is the same one and uh, now we have to simply come back to our uh, we will need to set the default value so here we will set the default value so we will say api data dot title and uh, for uh, the post content so we will also provide api data dot post so we will save okay use effect was not imported so we will import use effect as well so use effect okay okay so this is but uh, there could there can be some uh some some something like like right now the data is coming but uh, when we save this data so we need to handle it appropriately so if, uh, for the so we will need to rework on this stuff so we will need to add the route uh, id as well so that uh, you do you, you might remember that uh, in our api so we are expecting a, a record id as a route parameter so we will need to pass that so very simply we will pass it and uh, it would be separated with a slash and uh, okay and also in his in a state of the axios dot post so we will need to use axios dot put because uh, for the updation so we are expecting a put method and also the our api returns 200 so not 201 so this way so looks fine so right now so if we save our record say updated and uh, for the content also so let's say we update it and if we save it so the uh, the data got saved and uh, we can also we can always update it so we will click on it and uh, let's say updated again and uh, it is getting updated so we can uh, we can also update the second one as well so let's say i am going to remove this stuff okay so this is this is work this is uh, this is how uh, this is working but one thing that uh, i would like to make emphasis on that uh, in duty you may you may remember that uh, initially so we set api data as a false so but if uh, and here we are simply uh, passing this uh, the setting this default value so actually so it is always better to wrap this uh, whole form i mean the idea that the idea is that uh, wrap this or uh, show this form if and only if we got the this api data because uh, our api call might take some time 
and by the time so we might get some error so it is always a best always a best practice to wrap it so we will wrap it something like this so we will say api data and uh, then only so we will show this form otherwise we won't so this way we are ensuring that uh, uh, if and only if the api data is having some value then only render this form other way there is no need to render the form and our application is uh, defect free okay so let's say we are going to edit this one so we will say updated so this is updating so uh, this is working fine and uh, also we can uh, there are a lot of other things that we can do with this uh, add, add, add and edit forms because right now you might remember that we have created these two separate uh, components so uh, with uh, we can have a common form common form component and we can uh, reuse this uh, we can create the, this this whole form as a common common form of form object and we can uh, use it in our add and edit form so but the, in order to do that we need to refactor a lot and uh, uh, we may we may uh, we might need to i mean uh, i might ne i may maybe in future so i will do the refactoring so but for now so one thing one more thing that we can do is that uh, uh, while we are uh, say we are navigating from this screen after the after we got the response successfully so we are navigating so this use this uh, using this navigate so we can pass on some uh, temporary variables okay so something so it takes on an on an object so we can pass on a state and uh, we can pass on save successfully and uh, since we are uh, navigating to our home.js file js component so here we can very simply collect it so in order to collect it so we need to use the location object so we will say const location so we will need to use location hook and uh, using this uh, location hook so here we can say location dot state not if this is there if this is there then we will location we will render the location dot state maybe we can have a h5 so not 5 rather h5 and uh, h5 closing tag so this way so whenever a new post is updated let's say updated again and we will save it so we should get this temporary message saved successfully so we can do the same thing uh, wherever we need to store uh, something like flash variables or something similar so this use uh, use navigate you uh, hook that provide that kind of functionality as well okay so i hope you enjoyed this session and uh, that's all for this session and uh, if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding